السلام علیکم مائی نیم از اطر فہیم اینڈ آئی ایم دا چیف اسٹریٹجی اینڈ آپریشن آفیسر ایٹ پاکستان سنگل ونڈو ٹوڈے وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ ڈیجیٹل ٹرانسفارمیشن اینڈ دا امپلیکیشنس آف ڈیجیٹل ٹرانسفارمیشن آفیس ود ان پاکستان سنگل ونڈو اینڈ ہاؤ وی ول ایکچولی موو فارورڈ اسپیسیفکلی ریلیٹڈ ٹو آر ٹریڈ ایکو سسٹم Pakistan Single Window is currently working on a lot of uh, digital focused uh, projects and programs um, specifically uh, relates to the, the connectivity with the other government agencies, the trade facilitation processes and at the same time uh, working on the port community system, the air community system. and at the same time integrate, integrating with, uh, uh, with global single windows as well. The end uh, product of, uh, in the shape of Pakistan single window would be uh, the, connect, the connective, uh, a connected platform with the entire uh, trade ecosystem. This means the connectivity with the banks, connectivity with the traders, connectivity with the, uh, the, with the freight forwarders, cargo agents, clearing agents, ports, and uh, maybe with the other single windows in all around the world as well. So there are uh, three important uh, benefits uh, once uh, we will have a connected uh, a uh, trade ecosystem platform available within Pakistan single as in the shape of Pakistan single window uh, one important uh, benefit would be the trader facilitation uh, by all means the second one would be the better uh, border security management uh, for the country and uh, the third one would would be the data analytics uh, side which is uh, more related to the data driven trade analytics uh, for the country itself where uh, the policy makers can really enhance uh, their, uh, their policies and procedures uh, through data driven activities. There are several capabilities that we are, we need to optimize and we need to uh, defined in the, in the digital transformation journey. One of the most important capability is the digital transformation office setup uh, and the skillful utilization of uh, digital people. The, here what I mean digital people means the resources who are very skillful and experienced in the digital world, specifically uh, such as uh, software developers, your Uh, enterprise architects uh, and uh, the database people. The life cycle of the uh, of our newly uh, established uh, digital transformation office is in this way that we have defined it in six steps. So one of the key step is to define the digital uh, strategy uh, initiatives, those which are actually could be qualified uh, digital initiatives uh, on which we can work uh, for the next uh, three to five years. And then uh, the second stage would be to evaluate the digital maturity, which means that what kind of capability we have at this point of time and what kind of capability we need to bring in in terms of uh, resources and the technologies and tools. Then uh, the digital uh, readiness and the digital opportunities uh, to qualify. Then we need to define the digital transformation roadmap itself that what level of roadmap we need to identify when those opportunities could be materialized specifically in the shape of projects and then uh, the final end products. Once these has been, uh, the roadmap has been completed, 
uh, we need to uh, implement the digital initiatives and uh, the last stage would be is to harness the digital capabilities so this collectively completes our digital life cycle this is a five to six years uh, plan normally provided uh, in order to you know establish your digital transformation office and then design its own life cycle thank you very much for watching uh, today's episode of trade insights allah hafiz